What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to go over the market. As you guys do know, we just got some new content. Let's go over it. Um, first of all, I see a Zach Levine. And as you guys do know, I love freaking Zach Levine. Um, so we got a Grand Hill, we got Zach Levine, and Julius Randle, Drew Holiday, the champion, Mo Williams, who's going to be absolutely so cheese. So we're going to pop one pack because that's literally all I could afford. Let's see who we can get, man. Mo Williams is a beast, man. Maybe we get a little shaky shaky. Uh, I figured. Oh, my God. Gold. Paul Pierce. We'll pop one more. One more for the culture. We're going to get our MT up anyways. We have a lot of stuff to sell. Here we go. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Please be Julius Randle. If you guys are new to the channel, sub it up and comment down below. If you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT. And who is this? A Laker. Wow, we get Julius Randle. Why is he on the Lakers? I know he was drafted there, but his prime is most definitely on the Knicks. But let's go. The brand new Julius Randle has been added to the squad. Um, I think I have to sell him right now. 49k let's check out his stats quickly wow that's a really big pull oh my god this card stack i'm gonna throw him up quick uh make some mt back from all the terrible packs we've been opening i'm gonna put him up for a solid 42,000 mt that is a giant pull let's put him up for 43,750. oh my god it's a huge pull all right so we just pulled J julius randall he's probably one of the better players in the set he is an absolute beast especially at an amethyst let's check out zach levine Someone already pulled his card. Shooting guard, small forward. The downfall is his defense, man. He is just absolutely unusable. His defense is unusable. I think Julius Randle is the best card in the set. No one really likes Grant Hill. Drew Holiday is going to be kind of icy. Drew Holiday is always kind of icy. Let's check out his stats. Drew Holiday. Good through point shot. His defense. I knew his defense had to be good. Drew Holiday is the best defensive point guard in the game, and it's not even close. So, if you guys want Drew Holiday, probably should try sniping him out. He's going to be an absolute dog. I hope this Julius Randle sells. So, Julius, the Amethysts are better than the Diamonds, in my opinion, especially for the price. Let's check out Julius Randle one more time. Oh, no, I got undercut. Rip. Rip. All right. 83 3 bar shot. His defense is pretty ass. But other than that, this card is pretty, pretty damn solid. Like, really solid. That one sold. Mine's up next at 43k. Mine better sell because I need that MT badly. All right, anyways, let's go over the market now. Let's see how we can make MT off this content. Let's see what we can spice things up. First off, I think Drew Holiday and Julius Randle are going to be very expensive. They're going to be very expensive diamonds. Ooh, my Julius, let's go. My Julius Randle just sold. I actually made MT off a pack opening for once. And um, yeah, I'm 100% going to take that. Let's check out the Amethyst. Let's see what they're going for. Gary Harris's price continuously drops down in value, which was honestly a given. I saw that coming from a mile away. So uh, Gary Harris's price is, yeah, Gary Harris is going to be cheap, cheap, cheap. Amethyst, definitely keep your eyes on the Amethyst filter. It's going to be one of the better filters. Not only this, this Gary Harris isn't too bad. He's really not bad at all. He could definitely go up in value. He has really good stats. He has better stats than Diamond Zach Levine because if you can't play defense, that honestly destroys your whole entire game. And that's literally facts. So um, that's how I feel right now. Surprised they haven't dropped any Giannis cards yet. Let's check out the Ruby filter. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can make some MC off the Ruby filter. As you guys know, the Ruby filter was at like $2,250. Um, now it's up to $2,300. Ooh, that's a snipe. Ooh, that's a snipe. Give me that. Yes, we got that. This is also... Nah, I'm not going to buy that one. Uh, but Terrence Ross for $1,900. That is a nice little snipe right there. Let's see what he's going for. He's got to be going for at least 20-something. Let's go. So right there, we just sniped him out for 1,900. He is going for a whopping 30. He's going for, wow, he's going for 3,250. So we're going to make a solid 1,000 MT clean right there. So far, this day is doing good. So I'm going to put him up for 3,250. After the reduction, we're going to literally make a 1,000 clean. That's really solid. That's why I say the Ruby filter is one of the best filters in the game, man. It is. It really is. I'll throw up this Cami boy for like a thousand. Hopefully he sells. 
This Ruby filter is absolutely incredible, man. This is how I made most of my MT. I know I have no MT to show for right now. Just wait till I sell my players tomorrow. I have so much stuff to sell. It's insane. But Ruby filter is going to be your best bet of making MT. Um, so first of all, we got the new Amethyst. Uh, only problem is the prime time is going to ruin it. That's what's going to ruin it. So if you guys want, you could try it out. Only problem is it's going to 110% ruin it unless the cheapest prime time, the prime time players actually went up in, <coughs> in value. <coughs> so I don't know. It's pretty decent. You really just got no pricing. Um, I've been noticing the freaking really good prime time players went up in value a ton. And look at this Fred Van Fleet, guys. 34K. So as you guys know, the season ends next week. Obviously, I think Julius Randle could be a good investment or Drew Holiday could be a really good investment. Same with Mo Williams. This Mo Williams is absolutely insane and his offense is just always OP. Defense is obviously not the best, but Mo Williams is always so cheesy in 2K and he always has an amazing jump shot. So definitely keep your eyes on Mo Williams for 4400. I mean, he's an absolute steal. He's going to be really cheap. He's just cheesy, y'all. Compared to Jamal Murray Diamond, he has almost the same offense and defense, and he's a ruby. So to me, that's insane. Mo Williams is an absolute beast. Keep your eyes on him. And who's the other player? Sapphire, Marshall. He's also cheese. I'm pretty sure Marshall could shoot. Um, let's check that out. Marshall, can he shoot? I'm pretty sure Marshall could shoot. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Look at this. So... A Sapphire, power forward, small forward at 6'9", could shoot like a beast. Eddie has decent defense all around. That is insane. So now, if you're running a budget cheese squad, I would run him, bro. For that cheat, he's actually going to go up in value too, probably. If his jump shot's actually decent, he's going to go up in value. Um, Sapphires continuously drop in value. Sapphires are pretty much worthless now. But I think this Marshall dude is going to be worth it. I think this Marshall guy is most definitely going to be worth the value um but yo keep your eyes on amethyst keep your eyes on julius randall and drew holiday drew holiday um he's definitely gonna be my point guard once he drops in value i love drew holiday i love the bucks i love the knicks those are my two favorite teams um but yeah this drew holiday with this kind of defense is a game changer 95 defense man he has to have clamps right I mean, upgrade will bad. Let's go to bad. He has gold clamps. I mean, that's such a game changer in my opinion. If you have clamps and you're a point guard, it's very hard to play defense as a point guard. If you have clamps, a good steal on a good perimeter, you're going to change the game. Um, but, yo, other than that, we're going to end off this video with one more pack because we're about to pull Drew Holiday. And that's going to be it for the video. Let's see what we pull, man. Oh, my God. We just pulled another Ami. Whoa. Let's go. They finally are giving me good packs. Western, not true holiday. Wait, he's on the Pelicans. Let's go. We just got true holiday. Let's freaking go. That's how you make MT 101, baby. Drew freaking holiday. Go for 60k. Welcome to the squad. I'm actually gonna throw him up. But yo, um, let's see what he's going for. It wasn't he just 61,000 MT? Oh my god, that's a huge W. Hold up. He's up there for 58k. Let's undercut him. Put him up for 54. And call it a day, even though he's probably one of the best players in the game, his price should drop. I'll put him off for 50, uh, 50, uh, let's try to get the reduction right. Let's try to get that 50k out of it. So, oh my god, that is a huge W, man. Maybe the packs are hot. Let me know if you guys got some hot packs today. Um, but yo, other than that, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.